Hello everyone, today is June 23rd, 2020. Yesterday, I watched a video that came out yesterday and a teacher talks about Lori Vallow telling them that Charles committed suicide. I don't remember documenting anything like that, so that's why I'm making this video. Um, apparently, Lori told the teachers that Charles had committed suicide, and JJ went into school, and he was very, very upset. I did some research to see if any other articles talked about that, and the only one I could find is this one right here. Mid-July on the 11th, Charles Vallow was shot and killed by Lori's brother, Alex, but the school wouldn't find out about his death until a week later when Lori told them Charles had committed suicide. Life did their own research and learned Charles was killed as part of a family dispute, and so the school filed a report with Arizona's Department of Child Safety. So I didn't know about this. I didn't document it. Um... And I'm documenting it today. But I want to know what your comments are about why Lori told the school that Charles committed suicide. I mean, the police had cameras, and it's all over the place, that Alex killed Charles. And Alex said it was self-defense. Even though he turned his back, went and got a gun, then came back and shot him. Um... I watched a video of a psychic that said that that uh, Alex was waiting for Charles to come in. Now, I don't believe in psychics. I don't believe in that stuff. But something led me to watch her video. I wanted to see what she had to say about Charles. And she said that Alex was waiting for him to come in. And then she said that she heard a boom. And she thought it was Tylee that had been shot, but it was actually Charles that had been shot. So that is something else, you know, that I just want to put out there. Uh, I think her name is Donna something. Anyway, um, I don't believe in psychics, but... She did say that he had been shot and that Alex was waiting for him. But in any event, Alex said that he went and got the gun and then came back and shot him. So there are so many things, so many different opinions out there and so many different uh, comments. Uh, people saying that this happened or that happened and that happened. Nobody will really know. But in this video here... I'm going to show you just a short clip of it where the teacher says that Lori said Charles committed suicide. And I'm wondering if Lori said that so that the children wouldn't be afraid of Alex. Because if they found out that Alex shot Charles, they may be afraid and not want to go to Yellowstone with him. So I'm going to play this short clip here. Of his father's death until August 2019, what would be his last day in the classroom. He came in very angry the whole day. He kept saying, my dad's not dead. My dad's not in heaven. My dad's just traveling. He's not in heaven. School staff says Lori told them Charles died by suicide and learned on the internet that he'd actually been shot. And that's not the only lie the teachers say Lori told them. When she pulled JJ out of school at the end of August, she said she took a new job and was moving the family to California. We know now she moved JJ and his older sister, Tylee Ryan, to Rexburg, Idaho, where they were found dead in their stepfather's backyard earlier this month. Okay, so see how it all go it all plays out to where she tells the school that he committed suicide. They later find out he was killed by a family member, and then they have to file a report on that. And then she moves she takes JJ out of school, she moves him to another state. 
and then later on they are found dead in her new husband's backyard. So what I'm thinking is she didn't want the kids to be afraid of Alex so that they would go with him to Yellowstone and if she needed him to take the kids, they wouldn't be afraid to go. They would just go with him. Because at one point, Alex took JJ and then brought him home later. And he had he was asleep, had his head on his shoulder. Was he dead then? Or did he kill him in the morning? That's what we don't know. But see, JJ wasn't afraid to go with Alex. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for clicking in. Have a wonderful night.